All right, we're here with our US 20K champion, Connor Matt. How'd that feel? It was tough. Um, I, I just didn't realize how like the humidity, how much the humidity would play a factor, and I just kind of hit a wall, and you know, it was just tough. Like maybe not hit a wall per se, but it was so weird because it was like, man, this is a lot hotter, like and hotter, more difficult than I would have expected. Like. I don't know, I've been Lund, doing some uh, marathon pace workouts, trying to go around 450, and I've usually been able to go 447 and feel fine. And so I'm like, oh, okay, that's just good weather days. But then those days are at altitude, and I get down to sea level, and I'm like, oh man, that pace is a lot harder today. <laughs> but I guess the like, humidity is what they call poor man's altitude, and it's just worse to run in. But it was, it was an interesting race. Um, interesting fact, San Juan gets seven miles, took the lead and started pressing and I think we ran like a 210 800 or maybe even faster like like down on my watch and started going 420 pace and I'm like there's three of us did separate and I'm like let's go and then by mile eight the like Bia and Meg Butson and uh Shadow got all caught up and it was like god dang it like <laughs> That movement, nothing, just except how I'm more exhausted. Well, you said that you misjudged the finish line a little bit? Yeah, yeah, and then um, I saw there's some uh, cop cars and lights up there, and I thought those were after the finish line. So I, I made a move, and I'm like, all right, that's less than 400, I can see it. And I was I was really trying to throw in a hard series, the last 800. And I figured I mean, another switch what I thought was 400 to go, but it was more like more like six or seven hundred to go i just like, totally like you know was so like so badly misjudged the distance but i looked back when i started dying and i'm like oh i got i got a gap on lenny like and uh sam i don't know who came in second one of the two it's, it's hard to when you're looking back and they're wearing the same jersey and you're like <laughs> your eyesight's kind of going but Knowing how good of a kick, you know, a guy like Lenny has, right. was that something that you were worried about and wanted to run away from and push him the pace? You know, I, I feel like I can judge Lenny's kick pretty well. I think I've raced against him enough. Um, Shadrach's kick I was a little more worried about, but when it was me, Sam, and Lenny, it was like, okay, like, I know both those guys have good kicks, so as long as I don't, as long as I don't misjudge the finish, I'm good. And I misjudged it, but luckily I had enough distance. Well, based off today, everything seems to be going well for Chicago. What's the right. marathon buildup been like? It's, it's been tough. Um, and you're, you're a professional runner. You understand, like, you have a lot of time on your hands, and it's just like, oh, like, I've never, never felt like I needed to take a nap before. But now it's like, I, I'll have, like, good, good nights of sleep, nine hours of sleep a night, and then still feel like, exhausted and you take a nap in the afternoon and it's been odd like just being a little more tired and everything and it's not like my miles are much higher but it's the consistency of like no 90 80 mile weeks for races it's like this past week i did 100 miles and my max is like on the sunday 120 so it's like it's a lot of mileage is that a long run way up now at this point yeah we, i did 25 on uh, uh, nine days ago, and we switched in every other week, 20, 25, 20, 25. So I guess we're supposed to do 20 today, but <laughs> it'll, it'll take a long break in between. Uh, uh, what's your goal for Chicago now that uh, you have this under your belt, you know, that things are going well in the longer distances? Right, I think if, if everything goes um, as planned, I think sub 208 is realistic. And then if uh, everything goes perfect on the day, I think it's up to a seven. It's, that's a big stretch goal. But, you know, I want to, I think sub two away is kind of the, like, you know, that's that's where we're going to pace it out to be. And then if I'm feeling good at 23, 24, maybe it'll be 207 before I even do I don't know. Don't want to misjudge my first one. Just know where the finish line is this time. Right? Well, well, congrats. Have a good long cool down. All right, thank you.